Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Abe with mysticgenmara.com, a small town mystic from the middle of Idaho. And today, tonight, whenever you see this video, I would like to offer your mid-September elemental relationship reading. Um, as I've done in the past, I've usually put everybody in one big group, but this month we're doing something a little bit different. So we're going to drop each individual reading so that you can just go to your element versus having to scroll through the whole thing. Um, let me know in the comments if this is something that you like and we'll keep doing that. Otherwise, we'll hop over here to our reading. Air covers the zodiac signs of Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. I read for the air or the elemental singles first, then we look at them the element in a relationship. If you're not sure what your elemental alignment is, there is a natal chart in the link in the description below. Um, it's not a sponsorship or anything like that, but it is a really good product. It gives you your birth chart, the circle with the 12 houses and all the little planets in it, and then gives you 10 to 20 pages, depending on what's <laughs> going on there, of what all of those symbols mean. Uh, it also can give you your elemental alignment, so it has you know where your elements are, uh, which ones are your dominant ones, which ones are a little bit on the low side, or however that manifests for you. Um, and all of the cards I'm using are linked in the description below as well. So, from here we'll start with Air Singles. We have number three, Creation. I believe this is your uh, root chakra. So this is working at that point of beginnings stuff that is foundational to you as a person and I'm also getting this um, image that this is a time of growth for you but it's also again that new beginning word keeps coming forward so it could be as a single this could be a new thing where you're just not used to being single like you just came out of a relationship or even a friendship just ended um, but they're also saying that this could be you're open to new possibilities as well. Like you've been single for a while and now it's like, oh, type of a thing. So that's that's what I'm getting as uh, from an intuitive sense. Let's see what the book has to say. Uh, yeah, we're in the root chakra. The deity is Brahma. The two, four heads reflect Brahma's position as a lord of creation. They represent the physical self, the rational self, the emotional self, and the intuitive self. In each of his four hands, Brahma carries a blessing. His hand mudra, which is the what he's holding his hands in right here, um, removes fear and insecurity. From his pot, sacred water pours forth. The lotus emits the scent of purity, and the scrolls recount wisdom. So it's definitely a period of new things happening, new creations occurring for earth, our air singles here. We have pot, key words are birthing possibilities, innovation, original thinking, pioneering spirit, novel opportunities, taking a first step towards something new. Air. If you are, if you've done the usual things that people are looking for to find relationships or to find friendships, you know, the everyday, go online, pick up an app. Um, this, those aren't working obviously for you because that's what I'm hearing. <laughs> so to take that relation, if you're looking to build a relationship, do something that in modern days is unconventional. You meet someone at the library, you meet somebody at a crafting uh, fair, go to an art market, something like that. They're saying think outside the box just because this is what everyone else is doing. They're saying that this is not what air is supposed to do. You have a gift of creation. You're, you tend to be very um, analytical in your thinking and you tend to be very creative in how you look at things is what I'm hearing. Um, and air does have a creative aspect, but tends to be very structured. This one is saying not to be so structured. Kind of let your hair down and let things uh, happen as they are willing to happen. Um, but you've got Brahma coming in, so there's this divine instinct of intuition as well. So follow your heart, follow your guidance, because things are happening, but they may not be the way you would expect them to, is what I'm hearing. We have number 16 as a clarifier let go of belief systems that no longer work for you an important life-changing event a situation that leads to significant opportunities with this particular card i'm feeling a little bit like a tower moment like there's some things that need to be let go of because 
the traditional views or the way it's been done currently, not so much the old traditions, new traditions, are not working anymore. And the life experience is saying, you've already tried it their way, but it's not working. So now try something a little bit different. It doesn't have to be drastically different. Just look at things from a different perspective. Uh, I'm also hearing that this is maybe a good time to look, branch out in other aspects of your life as well. It doesn't always have to be about relationships. With this one, it's your life experiences are unique to you. That may have changed how you view life in general. And that could also put a little bit of a jaded aspect towards relationships, air singles. So if you're looking at the relationship and being like, I, there's nothing, I can't figure out what's going on here, but you keep getting distracted by a work situation, a family situation, something from when you were a kid, maybe go explore that a little bit because life experience is, could be a lot of different things leading to the current situation. So your second card is the four of winter. Set aside your concerns for now. You can make a decision later. Solutions that come from meditation, the need for sleep or a vacation. No matter what's going on, air singles, take the time to rest. In rest comes the answers. In rest is also a weird way of seeing creation occur. When you look at a lot of the Hindu myths and lore, there's a lot of the creation stories where a deity spoke a word or they meditated and a lotus bloomed. Something simple occurred by being quiet or just making one aspect of a creation and it exploded out from there. The life experiences are saying, explore what was going on in the past because that could be affecting what is happening in the present. The Four of Winter is saying, you don't have to rush into anything. Take the time, take care of yourself. The creation is going to come when it is ready to exist and not a minute before. You're not going to force the divine. You can't force your own soul. So <laughs> take the time to do the work because things will get, if you're willing, er, not willing, if you're ready for a relationship, there, what I'm hearing is they are going to come. It's just a matter of time. There's some things that maybe have to line up just a little bit better before they can be settled in. And they're also saying this could be something that you have to uh, address for yourself. And it could be something super minor. They're not saying it's serious. But the reason that you're <laughs> the reason that you're wasting the time doing so is because the other person who's coming in is not quite ready yet because they have work to do. So it could be that you are getting some busy work from the divine to keep you occupied while the other person is getting ready for the situation because what I'm hearing is you're already pretty much set up. You just have a couple of questions and what they're saying is to examine those questions, look into the history of it, see what's going on, and then when the opportunity arises, you'll be able to see it more clearly. So let's take a peek at our air in couples. So this could be you as the person watching this video are the air dominant sign, or it could be that your partner is air dominant, which again is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Um, but you're in a relationship one way or another, and air is involved. <laughs> we have number 48, ooh, stagnation. Not really sure if that's a good card or not. It looks pretty. It's also showing me that this is a time to break out of old habits and patterns, that things are kind of stuck is what I'm hearing. Um, like I said, I'm not fully familiar with all of the cards yet, so we're still checking the book out. But what I'm hearing before I look at the book is things are great things are going well but you've kind of reached a a plateau you get up you go to work you come home you see each other have dinner go to bed get up go to work see each other when you come home go to bed weekends are off you do laundry you do dishes you mow the lawn what you've just you've fallen into a very strict pattern and you're okay with it but it's just not sparking anything anymore is what I'm hearing so let's take a peek the seventh chakra so your crown chakra this particular uh, symbol is called beyond knowing. The seventh chakra image represents the state beyond the knower, knowledge and knowing. Individual self dissolves into supreme infinite consciousness, an awareness of truth being bliss, called by yogis Sat Shit Ananda. So you're actually moving into a pretty positive place is what I'm hearing. Um, experiencing mi whoops, miracles becoming humble, lighthearted, more understanding of others, treading the path towards liberation and helping others on their path. 
So the card, even though it says stagnation, according to the book, is very much about you are in a really good spot, growth upward. What I'm also hearing is in the relationship, things have flatlined. Not like bad, just if you reach that plateau and this is where you're at, you're good with it. But they're also saying you can also explore other things. You can also um, shake it up a little bit, like plan a spontaneous date night, you know, check everyone's calendars because that <laughs> today's world, that's pretty important. Um, and then just like, oh, there's just this one quiet night. We're just going to be at home doing like dinner and whatever. Um, Maybe go out to dinner versus staying home. Maybe go out with some friends. Do something a little bit different just to shake it up. But they're also saying that this is a time to maybe um, connect at a deeper level with your partner. Do something a little bit more unique. Um, just something more fun. They're not saying... They're saying that there's nothing wrong obviously <laughs> but it's saying this is a good time if you feel like things are just kind of you know not moving very well to do something a little bit more different perk things up a little bit um, buy your partner flowers uh, go out to dinner something along those lines just give it a little bit of a instead of just constant like give it a little hiccup along the way and stir things up just, just a little bit doing it in a positive and respectful way obviously um, we also have number 14 balance which is Major Arcana, huge life lessons here. Take everyone's input into consideration. Merge viewpoints to create a better solution. Take your time, there's no need to rush. Air couples, you found a good balance and it may not be, it might be a little bit on the level side right now and that's fine. If you're looking for growth, that's an opportunity and that that is an option this month. But they're also saying that just enjoying each other's presence and finding that strength, finding that understanding with the other person. You've already done a lot of it, obviously, because you're connecting in at the crown chakra, but there's always a little bit more we can grow. You never stop growing. You never stop developing. And you can always grow into a deeper relationship with your partner, and that's the beauty of being in the physical meat suits that we're in right now is we can always take our relationships spiritually into a deeper state a stronger connection with each other you also are working with the emperor which is another major arcana so <laughs> air couples you got some big energy here use logic and structure increasing your success get organized a firm but compassionate leader so you've got two different cards here you've got one saying find your balance the other one is emperor which is divine masculine energy the god energy the lord energy um, and you've got 4 and 14. Hold them up. you got 4 and 14. So you're really working with some pretty squared out, balanced energy. Um, they're not saying to think too far outside the box. Just maybe instead of looking at this level of it, looking at the box as the walls. How high do you want to go up? Staying within the corners of the box. <laughs> but it's they're saying to prevent the stagnation of the humdrum, the mundane, what are you doing to help connect to your partner and how can you support them or how can you connect with them at a deeper level um, and they're saying in spirit but they're also saying that just just because you're doing something spiritual doesn't mean you can't have fun with it otherwise too um, my guides are being a little bit inappropriate right now uh, funny just not appropriate for what we're talking about but if you're you know look at look at different opportunities in life find ways to um, reconnect and or not reconnect connect at a deeper level they keep bringing up the word um, Kama Sutra because it does talk about how your senses apply to the physicality bringing in that joy and bliss aspect but it's not just about a new position it's about a bonding with your partner um, and when you look at it from that perspective because the older tantras or Kama Sutras uh, are less there's a lot of stuff in there that's fun don't get me wrong but it's a focus on the connection and the ability to bring up like the kundalini energy into the bliss state and that's what i'm hearing is the important part um, of that connection but you're already in a really good bonding place for air couples and so that's what they're wanting you to continue with if you're in a good spot already don't worry about it if you're feeling kind of like eh, something could be a little bit different or you're you know you've, you've hit that plateau push beyond it see where see if your partner's op open to those ideas uh, but be very open with your partner don't sneak something in on them that's not that's not a good idea but work with them and if everything's great 
thumbs up. You're doing awesome. Your connection to source is great. Your connection with your partner is great. Um, these are just things that have come up from the reading. So uh, if you enjoyed this reading, please drop a like on the video. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Um, air fire, or er, fire, <laughs> air singles. Um, be ready. There's new stuff coming in. Air couples, you're doing an awesome energy wise from here. Uh, so keep up exploring, keep up that bond, and see you in the next video.